Hello everyone, my name is Samuel Shiflett. I'm a solutions architect here at Netscope covering North America. I want to take a quick moment of your time today to discuss Netscope private access and automation and how we can use Netscope's REST API combined with custom scripts or things like Terraform to automate not only the provisioning of Netscope infrastructure such as publishers, but also things like application definitions for Netscope private access. Let's take a look. Now before we dive into the REST API and some of the pre-built tools we have with Netscope, Let's take a quick look at some of the individual components that enable Netscope Private Access. First up are publishers. Publishers are virtual machines deployed to your private data center or public cloud such as AWS, Azure, or GCP. They are enrolled via a one-time registration token as part of this new publisher process. And once enrolled, they can then broker access to your internal applications based on app definitions and real-time protection policies. Second are application definitions or app definitions for short. App definitions are objects defined by administrators that dictate the applications and ports that users and devices get access to. Now, as you just saw, both these objects can be manually created and administered via the web UI. However, for administrators in dynamic environments or larger deployments, Netscope also offers a full REST API that can be used to manage both publishers and application definitions. This includes full CRUD functionality for things like creating, updating, and deleting publishers, as well as generating the initial one-time registration token we spoke about earlier. For application definitions, this includes the ability to create, update, and delete private application definitions, as well as getting existing ones for functionality like backing up your configuration. You can, of course, optionally leverage these on your own, but Netscope has also created integrations with common automation tools such as AWS Autoscaling and Terraform that leverage these APIs to make automation seamless. Let's see this in action with Terraform. Now, if you aren't familiar with Terraform, it's an infrastructure as code tool that allows you to administer infrastructure in an automated fashion using human readable configuration files. A key component of Terraform is providers. Providers are modular plugins that allow you to interact with various APIs for vendors and other infrastructure providers. For example, Netscope has multiple Terraform providers for Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud Platform. We'll be using the AWS provider from Netscope today, which allows you to create publishers, application definitions, and EC2 instances of the publisher AMI to automate provisioning into your AWS environment. You can also use the basic functionality of this provider to manage publishers and app definitions for your non-AWS environments as well. Now, I'm gonna start off by executing this Terraform apply command. This command is essentially executing, following validation, the actions I've placed in a Terraform configuration file that I will show you in a moment. Now that I confirm this, this will actually start the provisioning process. Now let's take a look at the environment that we're provisioning into. I have this single RDP server sitting in AWS as an EC2 instance that I need to provide access to my users for. Now I don't have anything else in this VPC that would readily provide access, so I want to use Netscope private access. I'll provide this via the internal host name as well as the IPv4 internal address as well. So if we shift over to my Terraform configuration file, You'll see that I'm handling a number of provisioning tasks. One is the actual publisher provisioning. This includes both the AMI and EC2 provisioning in AWS, as well as the creation of a publisher object in Netscope. So we'll see here in a moment that we'll have this NPA automation publisher both in AWS and Netscope. It's also handling things like the subnet assignment and security group assignment, as well as that one-time registration and enrollment process that we spoke about earlier. The other component that's deploying is a private access application definition or app definition. We spoke about this earlier, but we'll have an application definition called MPA Automation Demo that provides access both over the host name and the IP address of this host, as well as access via TCP 3389 for remote desktop protocol. Now, this should have successfully executed. So if we go back over to the AWS VPC or EC2, we'll see that we now have this NPA Automation Publisher, which can now provide access to resources that it can communicate with in this VPC or subnet. If we go over to Netscope, we'll see that that publisher is now registered and connected and can provide access to the application definitions that we specify. You'll see that NPA Automation Publisher here as well. Now, if we go back over to application definitions, you'll also see that we have a new app definition for NPA Automation Demo that provides access over TCP 3389 to the host name and IP address via the NPA Automation Publisher. Now, one final step we can also take with Terraform is removing the resources we just created. 
This is especially handy in dynamic environments or where there's auto scaling and other automated tasks taking place. So I can do that by simply executing a terraform destroy command. Now I won't show this entire process because it takes a moment, but this will eventually remove all the resources we just created. So just in the past minute or two, I've shown you how we rapidly provided automated new access to a new workload in AWS using a Terraform provider and a very simple configuration profile. I know this was a quick introduction to Netscope private access automation capabilities, but certainly if you have any further questions or want additional information on this or anything else Netscope related, please feel free to reach out to us via your local account team or the Netscope community. Thank you.